Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Hot Wheels 1989 original Batmobile from the Tim Burton film, so stay tuned. All right, guys, as I said today, we're going to be taking a look at the original Hot Wheels 1989 Batmobile from the Tim Burton films. Uh, this, this is not a remake. This is not a redo like the others I've shown you. This is the original from 89. How you can tell that is the originals from 89 always had the Batman symbol on the roof. I'm not sure why they did that. Uh, perhaps it was to tell people that, yes, indeed, this is from the Batman movie. This is the Batmobile. As if the design wasn't evidence enough, they had to put the uh, Batman symbol on there. And as you can see, let's flip that over. Trademark and copyright DC Comics Incorporated 1989. Uh, before we take a look at this guy, uh, I'm going to read you a little bit from the Batman wiki uh, about this Batmobile. It was originally designed in 1988 by Anton First, Tim Burton, Terry Ackland Snow, John Evans, and Keith Short. The length of the actual on-screen Batmobile was 260.7 inches. The width was 94.4 inches. The height was 51.2 inches. Acceleration was 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds. Maximum speed 530 kilometers an hour with booster. It has a jet turbine for an engine. High octane 97% special gasoline paraffin mixture as fuel. The torque was 1750 lbf per feet at 98.7 ROS. Wheelbase 141 inches. Wheels were a cast alloy 15 by 6.5. Tires high aspect L60 by 15. Two seat cockpit featuring aircraft like instrumentation. A passenger side monitor. Self diagnostic system. CD recorder and voice command operation in rec and recognition system. The arsenal on board this thing was a side mounted grappling hook launcher disc projectile launchers, and bob dispensers. Side chassis mounted shin breakers, a central foot underneath the vehicle capable of lifting the car and rotating it 180 degrees, armor plated body with an additional cocoon of heavy armor capable of being deployed while vehicle is stationary, dubbed cocoon mode, rear oil slick dispensers and smoke emitters, two forward-mounted Browning M1919 30 caliber machine guns, exhaust afterburner, an emergency bat missile mode that sheds all material outside of the central fuselage and reconfigured the wheels and axles to fit through narrow openings. Once employed, the mode essentially destroyed the car's exterior and required rebuilding afterwards. Only shown in the games, the Batmobile also features forward mounted or dual missile launchers. I'm sorry. Uh, the Batmobile was built upon a special Chevy Impala chassis with a Chevy V8 engine and was based on and modified from a 1970 Corvette body when previous de development with a Jaguar and Ford Mustang failed. A second car was based on an Oldsmobile Cutlass convertible. This Batmobile also made a cameo appearance in Jason Todd, The Lost Days, number two comic book series. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the Batmobile. This Batmobile, designed specifically for the Tim Burton era movies, featured in both Batman and Batman Returns. 
Uh, although it was rebuilt after becoming the Bat Missile in Batman Returns, Bruce Wayne eventually retired the Batmobile in favor of the Val Kilmer Batmobile. As we already discussed, this, the original 89 Batmobile does have the Batman symbol on top. You can see it has the uh, bay for the machine guns there. You can clearly state or see the uh, jet turbine engine. You can see other machine guns here and here. Uh, no special die cast for the uh, wheels though. Uh, everything is in proportion. Here's the afterburner. Very nice. I've always didn't like this. I had it at one time. Uh, my brother and I both had one during the during the original release. However, over the years, we lost it. Lost them both. Uh, however, while at Primary Colors Retro Relics uh, a couple weeks ago, my son managed to find this 89 Batmobile in fairly decent condition. However, it does have some paint wear along the uh, fins or wings, whatever you want to call them, uh, and along pretty much most of the edges. But other than that, very nice. Uh, he offered to let me have it uh, to add to my Batmobile collection. But being the father I am, he found it. He should get to keep it. With that being said, let's go ahead and compare this Batmobile to the other two 89 Batmobiles from my collection. As you can see, the original 89 Batmobile, there's really no comparison. Sure, the other two look similar. Uh, this one, which was the first of the reproductions that, for my, uh, that I got from my collection, uh, as you can see, the front is extremely large. There is some chrome to it, uh, yellow windows. Uh, the back is very tiny in comparison. Uh, overall, it it's okay, but there's a little side by side comparison there. So as you can see, obviously the original blows the newer one away. Uh, it would have been a lot better though. It would blow it even more out of the way, water if they would have chromed the wheels and maybe the guns. Uh, that would have been pretty nice too. And as you can see, the fins or wings, whatever you want to call them on the back of this one, are a lot tinier than this version. And the car itself is also far shorter than the original as well. Put that out of the way side-by-side -side comparison of these two. This one is pretty close. Pretty close, however, as you can see, the hood on this one, it comes, comes into an angle. See how it kind of comes in almost, almost to a point all the way back to the afterburner. While this one is more, it's more squared. I remember as a kid growing up, uh, we would take our Hot Wheels Batmobiles and use them as the, uh, as the line or the uh, grappling hook launchers from the Batman movie. It does kind of resemble the line launcher that uh, Michael Keaton used in the 89 Batman film. So we, we would always use it like that, you know. Um, brings back a lot of good memories. Uh, but this one is by far the closest to the original that Hot Wheels has done since producing the original in 89. So there you have it, my friends. This was our look at, back at the 1989 Hot Wheels Tim Burton Batmobile. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the like button so you don't miss out on future videos. Also, go ahead and hit that bell notification button uh, so that you receive no notifications on all things geek culture from our channel. 
Let me know in the comments below which one of these three is your favorite. Uh, the best looking design in your opinion. I'm Shannon for Comic TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, my friends.